going on everybody it's your boy j money aka no money and we out today with some more pokemon go gbl great league content for you guys so right now i'm going to be rocking with the team of metacham dugong and wiggly tough um really really satisfied with how this team did as you guys are going to see in a little bit let's go ahead and take a look at um some of these battles so as of today um we are currently in the johto the Johto uh, throwback event, which I need to turn my game on and take a look at this really quickly. See how the spawns have changed. It's currently like a little bit past 1 p.m. right now as I am recording this battle. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So I'm going to have a wiggly tough lead. Because it's really hard to counter. Um, not really hard to counter, but it's kind of tough to go up against like a charm lead because you know obviously they do insane amounts of damage and you can really try to get switch advantage from there now hypno super duper diverse uh could carry a lot of different type of elemental punches shadow ball hits hard focus blast hits harder um overall a really good pokemon to have in this league oh sweet we get our first instance of umbreon hat pikachu not a huge fan of the hat pikachus but i might as well try to collect a few in case uh Someone's looking for some. I know I have a few friends that like look for these types of stuff like a very collector heavy style players So I'm gonna go ahead and shield up this. I believe it was a shadow ball coming from this. No thunder punch. Yeah, thunder punch So yeah, hypno really good Pokemon to have in the great league if you don't have one already uh, Might ha want to have multiple versions of it if you can uh, if you can afford it um, I think I have a Shadow Ball Fire Punch one, and then I have a Thunder Ice Punch one as well. Uh, might consider a Focus Blast one, but most of the time it's kind of hard to get to a Focus Blast considering how the animation for Confusion is, and plus the damage is, there's a lot of damage already, so why not? And obviously Fighting is such a good uh, typing to have in this tier with all of the, um, well now Ice types like Lapras, Bastiodon, uh, other steel types as well, like Dugong, another ice type. So we now know that he has uh, that Bastiodon in the back. And I really want to keep my Metacham. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spam the Ice Punch. I want to get as many Ice Punches as I can. And I know I could take a hit from this thing because it's either going to have Ice Punch, Power Up Punch, or Dynamic. Um, I've mentioned before that Metacham, Psychic Metacham, can be a thing, but um, more often than not, it's tough to find yourself in a situation where you need that Psychic. Most of the time, you're going to need Ice Punch or Dynamic Punch. Uh, the only time Metacham would need a Psychic is probably against an Azumarill in this tier, and that's pretty much the only way I can think of it. And it comes to Bastiodon, and it's the reason why I saved the shield here, is for that reason. Have good PvP IVs on this uh, Pikachu. Interesting. I think Dunsparce with a shiny for Johto, right? Sweet. Now, I'm gonna pop the Meltan Incense. Meltan box. I need to catch a Steel type for this uh, throwback challenge thing. I was waiting because uh, there's a double Stardust event going on along with this thing right now. So, if you guys didn't know that, might as well get on top of it right away. Where's my Star Piece? So we're gonna go with the second battle here. So a few Pokemon that I consider that would probably would like a boost, um, just to give more. How do I say this? Just to give more variety to certain leagues. Um, I think we should possibly give Tauros a better fast move instead of Tackle. It has Zen Head, but Tackle. Uh, I would definitely want to see maybe. Um, kind of move what I give Tauros or maybe even better uh, yeah it's pretty good charge move just the fast move itself uh, I'm not sure what I can give him but I would want to give him something better um, let's see Armaldo another Pokemon I would consider uh, it does have really weak charge moves they're really abysmal I mean his fast moves are good his fury cutter um, I think he also gets like I think it's Fury Cutter and Struggle Bug. Uh, Fury Cutter, obviously the better one for him. Uh, I do have one ready for Great League, but it just really doesn't do anything to almost whatever. I mean, it has, I think it has Rock Blast or Rock Tomb. 
which is its only decent move. And then the rest of it is like Cross Poison and the Aqua Jet. So I want to see something done to Armaldo since, you know, Lilip got a little bit of boost. All right, so we are met, met here with a Registeel and I obviously have to get my Wigglytuff out of the way. Uh, my position here was to just Icy win this thing completely, kind of uh, neutralize it. Uh, kind of sacking my Dugong here because his uh, he has double fire, a uh, double steel, which was a Scizor, and now he goes into a Registeel. And I didn't want to give away my Metacham right away because I know my Metacham could possibly take out the Scizor and the Registeel. So whatever else he has in the back, I'm going to be ready for it. So I get off a Water Pulse here because he probably thinks I'm going to be doing another um, Icy Wind. And does enough damage to almost get him down. And I believe it's going to be... Uh, yeah, he's going to get to his charge move right away. And I'm like, you know, that's great. He can uh, use up his energy here. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Uh, he probably decided to throw it off because he was so close to dying. Like one more Ice Shard probably would have killed him. And then I come in with my Wiggly Tough and charm him down right away. And in comes an Azumarill. And I thought to myself... Yeah, I think that was a mistake. Why did I switch out? <laughs> well, there's two shields still. Well, in the case that that Scizor did not have Iron Head, my Wigglytuff would be able to survive all the Night Slashes in the world. It is 75k to get a second move on... Um, On a scissor here. Oh yeah, the reason why I went to my Metacham here was to see if I can burn some shields here. And no reason why this Azumarill should be blocking. I don't see a reason why he would be blocking that. Because he resists everything. Like, he was going to be able to live all of it anyways, so what was the point? So I guess that was just a mistake on my um, opponent's end there. And I'm able to get to a play rough here with my Wigglytuff. I'm going to be able to take out the Azumarill. Oh, Scissor was actually dead. What was I doing? Not paying attention. Trying to catch his, uh, his Johto event. <laughs> well, anyway, so you guys can see the synergy of this team is actually really, really, um, really good. Because Metacham is fighting, which Dugong is weak to. He also resists the Rock, which Dugong is weak to. The only thing we don't resist is electric, um, but most electric types right now are pretty frail, in which Metacham hits pretty hard, Wigglytuff hits pretty hard, and we're hit here with a Shadow Gardevoir. Now, I am so scared of uh, Shadow Pokemon, especially Victory Bell. Uh, Gardevoir obviously does a good amount of damage as well, but definitely that Shadow um, Victory Bell is like the bane of a lot of people's existence, because a lot of people... Um, have a hard time countering it and in comes an Entei and I was like whoa uh, possibly a fire fang iron head flamethrower variant it's fire spin actually so a uh, good move to charge up energy and I'm just gonna go ahead in here and faint out the dynamic punch draw off an ice punch see if I can get some shields here on this Entei uh, really, really dope. I haven't seen Entei in any league so far. On top of that, it's a Shadow Entei. So I'm thinking this guy's running a definitely running a Shadow straight Shadow straight Shadow team. So he does have Fire Spin Flamethrower on this thing. So that thing's definitely gonna hit pretty hard if it connects. So I definitely needed to shield that one up. And I'm gonna go ahead and counter him down. I do have energy to throw on whatever comes out, and it's going to be that Shadow Venusaur. So we do have an Ice Punch to toss. And a little bit of energy left over after. So hopefully if I do get to... If I am able to switch out here. Because I should have switched out there. But it's okay. Because I almost had enough for another... Um, razor Leaf. I mean Razor Leaf. <laughs> He's throwing Razor Leaf at me. But another Ice Punch. Now the one thing about Razor Leaf is... It doesn't charge as quickly as Vine Whip. And... I was able to save a shield here. On my Dugong. As he sludge bombs me, and I go for the icy wind. He may, maybe should have went for the frenzy plant, or I'm not sure. 
if he doesn't have it. Because <laughs> it is a shadow Venusaur, right? Like, shadow community mo movement day. Community day move, damn. And, um, it's kind of hard unless you have an elite TM to put on a shadow starter with uh, the community day move. So, on to our next battle here. So, so far, yeah, this team was doing exceptionally well. Maybe I should run this team off more often in Great League. It, um, they all cover each other's um, weaknesses pretty well. I would definitely say maybe a uh, strong grass poison type like the Victory Bell or Venusaur. Uh, <laughs> Victory Bell, right? As soon as I say that. Would definitely put some hurt on my team. So it's a Razor Leaf Victory Bell, which we are taking a decent amount of damage, but not decent, a lot of damage. But our charm damage is also doing um, its job as well to the Victory Bell, what, even if it's resisted. So he goes for the Leaf Date. I let my uh, Wigglytuff go down there. And in comes my Dugong to hopefully Ice Shard it down. As he switches out into a Toxicroak. And I know I'm weak to the counter damage here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Icy Wind it. And I believe I switched out here into my Metacham. And I am resisting the counters. I'm going to go ahead and counter him as much as I could. Um, obviously a mud bomb is possibly coming through here, so I decided to shield it. And it was a mud bomb that would have done a good amount of damage to my Metacham. So I go for the Ice Punch here. It's a lot more energy efficient. So it's better to throw that off right now because he does have more stuff in the back. Maybe I could toss another Ice Punch after. And or another Dynamic Punch. And plus he didn't really have any more HP, so why even bother? So in comes a Bastiodon, and he knows I have some energy left over, so I'm going to go for the Ice Punch and kind of uh, fake out the Dynamic Punch. Hopefully we can get a shield here. If I were him, I would definitely shield it. Yep, got the shield right there. So I'm going to keep countering him down here, as his um, Smackdowns aren't doing as much damage, because I am Fighting Type, resist the Rock Type damage. Smackdown is such an insane move. Um, does so much damage and charges up moves pretty quickly. I believe it's about like seven smackdowns, maybe less, to get to a stone edge, and maybe like five for a flamethrower. So, obviously, Bastiodon, huge staple in the Great League, one of the best walls, if not the best wall in it. And it comes to Victory Bell, and I have an ice punch ready for him. Metacham literally took over this game right here. Metacham's such a great Pokemon in this uh, league. I need a best buddy it so it does more damage. I probably should best buddy him after my Polyrath right now. Because I have a Polyrath that I maxed out for Ultra League. Not the best IVs, but it was the best one I could have at the, mo at the time. So it's the only one I'm running with. Speaking of Ultra League, I do have a few Ultra League battles recorded. Uh, I'm going to be uploading them soon. Really excited because I did uh, pretty well in some of them. Uh, maybe because everyone's focusing on Great League right now and maybe Master League because they want to practice with their Premier Cup Pokemon, who knows. And here I have a pretty bad matchup. Uh, obviously, Jirachi with the Confusion going to be doing a good amount of damage and uh, the Doom Desire doing more damage. So I could possibly toss in the best thing, which is going to be my Dugong. And I probably want to uh, neutralize it a bit. Maybe get an Icy Wind. Hopefully I can get two. Uh, he gets to his Doom Desire first, which is unfortunate. Because I really want this thing Icy Winded. Yeah, that Doom Desire does insane damage, man. Jirachi, really, really good Pokemon as well. If you have access to it and can't afford it. Um, so we do get an Icy Wind off. Obviously it's not very effective. It's not going to do that much damage. And his Confusions are going to keep coming. I felt like he was trying to uh, farm me down here, but then he realized I was probably close to another Icy Wind. So he just lets it go, and I let my Dugong go down here, did its job. Uh, now in comes my Wigglytuff again to hopefully take away this Drachi, but he switches it out into an Azumarill. And I thought to myself, I am okay with this matchup. My charms are definitely going to add up here. And obviously a player off... Um, He's going to deal a good amount of damage to an Azumarill Unshielded, which goes Unshielded. And I met here with an opportunity to shield the Play Rough, which I do. 
Got some incense right now. Meltan. Oh, I can't do an incense. I have a Meltan box going. Rip. And in comes the Jirachi with a little bit of health left. I was able to farm it down. Not like I really need to farm with a uh, <laughs> Wigglytuff. But in comes an Umbreon, and I'm like, all right, I got this in the bag. I should have this in the bag because Medicham is going to be able to just counter damage this thing completely as he tosses another shield down. In comes my Medicham. And even if my Medicham goes down, my Wigglytuff is still alive to be able, hopefully, to do like another charm or two and get this Umbreon out of our face. So he goes for a last resort, which is obviously neutral. But as you can see, the damage right there isn't great at all. Did I mention this Medicham is shiny? It was like a 96% shiny Medicham I got on like that fighting event from two years ago or something like that. I've been holding on to this thing. I maxed it out the moment I got it. I was super excited to have it. Went for the ice punch uh, right there to kind of fake out the dynamic punch. And boom, we're able to get that. Last shield of his. And we can just keep countering away and hopefully get to another dynamic punch before it gets to another attack. In which we get to our dynamic punch first. So that's going to be GG's to this uh, guy right here. Let's evolve something. All right. So that's going to be the set right there. As you can see, I went 5-0 and with this team. So I was really happy. Uh, I was hoping for a really good encounter for this right here. I haven't seen a rough lit yet. And I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. And we get a... Tepig. And you guys get to see me uh, terribly. I was so angry. You can see like my fucking reaction here. Um, hopefully... Um, when we get the community day moves for these starter Pokemon, they do extremely well. I'm pretty sure there's numbers on it already, just haven't seen them yet. But if there's any other Pokemon that you think that are in need of a boost, I think I mentioned here, uh, Tauros and Armaldo is what I want to see. Let me see, let me know what you guys want to see. I want to know what you guys have in mind. Alright, so thank you so much everybody for watching. If you really want to see me catch this Tepig, then go ahead, because it's going to take forever, because this thing kept kicking out of these stupid Pokeballs that I was tossing at it, as I say that. And plus it was trash too, so I tossed it anyway. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.